A section of a busy street in Auckland's city centre has been transformed to be a little more pedestrian friendly. It's a trial phase of a wider plan to make the CBD more walkable, but some businesses are sounding a note of caution about changing the cityscape. Our reporter Chen Liu has the story. There are 60,000 people who call Auckland city centre home, and every day, more than 100,000 people travel into the city. It took only three nights for High Street to be transformed between Shortland Street and Vulcan Lane. Port plants line the northern end of High Street, and car parks have been replaced with loading zones. Auckland Mayor Phil Goff says it's going to make a difference for those who use the street the most. You bring your shoulders in to walk down some of those areas of uh, a high street because it's, it's only a metre wide and then you get here and then people can go back to being people and you feel that this is an area that, that's made for you and not an area that just you're, you're dodging the pedestrians and you're dodging the cars. A woman who doesn't want to be named walks along the street every day. She says it gets crowded quickly and it's good to see the changes. I think it would be great to have it just pedestrians and no cars anymore make it a bit more um, welcoming, I guess. 13 car parks have been taken out and replaced with 25-minute loading zones. Martin Lagamvani, who often delivers goods on the street, is glad private cars are no longer parking there. It's very good for uh, delivery because sometimes we have a private car parked to um, loading zone. When the time has come for loading, it's uh, very hard for me because there is no time to moving out. Marie Crane, a longtime business owner on High Street, has been involved in developing the pedestrian plan. He says he's all for it, but wants it to be done right. Ultimately, the customers and the pedestrians will tell us what they want and how they want it to work properly. Um, I mean, change is good if it modernises the street and we don't lose um, our own identity as a, as a district. That's probably my biggest concern. We don't want to just be part of a kind of homogenised plan for all of Auckland. Phil Goff says he was asked why not transform the whole street all at once. The idea of not doing it now was actually to, to trial this, to involve people that work, own businesses in the street um, and, uh, and, and visit the street to say, hey, is this, have we got this design right? Is it better to do it this way? It, it's a, it's a co-design process, so it's inherently democratic. The second phase of the pedestrianisation trial will run from Vulcan Lane to Durham Lane and is planned to start from February next year. Feedback from the public on the trial will be taken into consideration. Motahotaka o te ahiahine ko chen liu te